One of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started trading is I had mainly trend following strategies and volatility was high and trends were high and I did well and then when volatility collapsed it was a little bit tougher and took some adjustment and uh, counter trend strategies are a solution and a good diversity to have um, when the mar when the uh, volatility collapses uh, you can um, you have diversity when you have trend following systems and counter trend strategies and this is stochastic divergence to trade for the day in stochastic divergence had a nice move and we also have this available now in ninja trader here it is in ninja trader taking the same trade and so we've got other counter trend strategies as well and i recommend that if you are trading trend only strategies that you also find a counter trend strategy such as stochastic divergence I'll explain this on the weekly charts going back 12 years uh, you see the top graph is the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the bottom is the VIX, and the VIX is a measure of volatility index, and you can see it's inversely related pretty much to the market. It almost does the exact opposite, and so a lot of times, I, I started trading full-time back in 2001, and these, these volatile, volatility here was easier to trade. You can see the wider ranges, and this is easier to trade, and then when the market went up in a narrow range it was tougher these times were tougher and so it took some adjustment period and some more research and um, this you can see the VIX continuously decreased during this time period and then in uh, this time period is volatile again and so and now we're we're near this support level in the VIX if you could call it support um, but this is August and VIX is low and sometimes it's difficult uh, when the market gets in these slow, low volatility uptrends, um, I've designed systems just for that because those were so so difficult in the past um, that I now have systems that will that that work on these narrower ranges. See, you see volatility collapse here, but these narrow ranges are still there. This narrow range here, this narrow range here, and these ranges haven't been as narrow, but um, I anticipate. I mean, you have to anticipate what could happen if the ranges get this narrow. What what would work in that time frame? And so, um, taking a look at stochastic divergence, um, we have that. That's one of the counter trend strategies that we do have, along with our trend following strategies. Another counter trend strategy has been the pivot points. It had a good week this week. Um, we've also got um, Cobra CT. Um, right here two and then we've got cobra ct 5b we've got cobra ct euro um cobra ct3 dax which had a nice trade today as well on friday and we've got um what else do we have here those are the main strategies we've got also got the gap fill from our book seven trading systems for the s p futures it's had three days in a row where it's captured the gap the, the gap fills and so you can see the the nice trades that it's made here um, on the gap fill combo strategies, and so um, those keep in mind that um, it's 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 good to to have some counter trend strategies in your arsenal, and so I encourage you to do that as well. I also got uh, Cobra CT 5B on the DAX, and so it's captured some nice trades as well. So volatility changes are one of the biggest things you have to watch in trading, and so. Pay attention to that and have some trend following strategies and some counter trend following strategies.